All right, guys, we're gonna do the driver's side door today, and um, take the, we're gonna take the door panel off, pop this cover off right here, put the new speaker in, put everything back together. It's the last speaker on this uh, speaker swap out and stereo swap out, so I'm anxious to get it done. So just sit there and watch. I got two angles on this thing. You guys can see me from this angle too, so you'll be watching on it. All right. So here we go. The first thing I want to show you is that I took this little corner panel off and again it's held on with a little round a little round tip right here and two little flat uh, spring loaded things and the best way I found to get these off is you want to start with that top ball joint and I just come in here with a butter knife it's the best thing and about halfway up on that triangle just pop it out and then it'll just come right off so you take that off that's the first thing then you're gonna grab your Phillips This little beauty ring will will crack on you because I broke the one on the passenger side. Somebody stepped on it while it was in my floorboard actually. This little ring right here. It's got to kind of go off of a little clip that's in the front so it's got to kind of come back to come off. Set that in there. The next one is right under here. These these big screws, these three are kind of hard. Hopefully between these two camera angles you're getting some of this. one is under this pad. You just lift this pad up. It's held on with spring clips. See that? It's just these little friction springs. Looking forward to replacing that leather on that thing with the leather I got with my seats. Now there's a, um, a trim removal tool that you can get that's flat and it kind of is nice to use to pull this off but what I do is I just start getting in here and I find where those little little things are and I stay close to them when, when I'm pulling so I try to pop them out without ripping my door panel. You can also use a flat blade you just have to be careful not to scratch your paint just run it in there right next to it and pop it. And that way you don't strip it out of your door. Yeah. Alright, keep working it. All the way. Every time you feel one, give it a little out pressure. Remember, your your grill is attached to your door panel on this, not the speaker, and you can't get it off on the outside. So now that that's completely free, see that swinging? There's one more right here, up at the top, right there. Now that you got that, you're going to lift straight up, and that little gasket and everything comes off with it. The next thing you have to do, I forgot to do it actually, you should do this before you pop that off, is you're going to pop up on, on this little, uh, let me just hang that back in there actually, to hold it. You're going to pop this up right here, on the front it has a friction clip, see that, it just kind of wedges up, and then once you come up, you come forward to get this little clip out right here because you got to take all your wires loose and there's a little connector under here now this little connect this uh this driver's door is the most complicated controls that you have because it'll control all four windows and it's got the auto um, up feature 
on the driver's door. So this is the most complicated one you got. So be careful with that. So you got that out. Now there's a light switch here. So anyway, you lift this up. Take your, uh, oh, y'all can see, I'm just taking a wire out of the hole right there. And then down here on your light, there's another little, little plug you can get right on the light itself. You just take that out. So now you got both of those out of the way. Now I'm going to show you how to get these off. What I do is I use wire cutters. I don't know if I got this on my other one. Some sharp wire cutters. And uh, let's see if I can get this where y'all can. I'm in, in the camera view here. I go underneath right here by the speaker and I'm just clipping this little uh, washer thing and it twists it and it comes right off. So I'm clipping it. You gotta break it and then twist and you can get it to come right off because you don't want to ruin these little studs. We're going to use those to hold it back on with the method I'm using anyway. So now that speaker hole is there, and that's all we need to do to the door panel. So I'm going to set it back here out of camera shot. Now this one just wiggled. Those little holes that this is in in the door panel are slots actually. So that last one just kind of wiggled out without even taking that off. So now we got our panel, we're going to use that. So I'll set it over here with the door panel. We don't need it right now. Throw these in here. Okay, now we're going to take the speaker off. And it's just Phillips screws, four of them. And we're not going to reuse these screws with the method I'm using. So we're just getting those out. And I'm trying to do this fast because it's getting dark on me. This is after work one day. So. Now this, this speaker is kind of put in with a little bit of a, a sealant. And I'm wondering if I actually should go back with a sealant uh, on all the spacers and everything that I'm going to show you because um, I think I'm getting a little bit with the wind just right going down the highway. If I get a side breeze that kind of hits me, I can hear that side breeze coming through somewhere on the door over there. So I may need to seal my rings that I put in here with a little bit of caulk, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm trying not to scratch my paint because you don't want any more areas that could rust. So I just kind of got that where I can get my fingers under it and I'm pulling it out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook this um, little wiring harness right here. And the reason why is because I'm going to use my wiring harness. This one that's on this speaker, I'm just going to detach it from this speaker right here blue the majority blue wire again is going to be your positive so I'm going to cut those and I'm going to go solder them on my new speaker before I go to the next step so the next step is going to be to solder my this pigtail onto my new speaker and the reason why is because the speaker is going to install on the outside of the door um, on this one and so uh, by the way, there's the control panel for the for the uh, for all the the uh, auto up and all that stuff. There's a there's a board inside here. Uh, I'm gonna install back. I'm gonna put my panel back on, and um, and install the panel. Then I'm gonna install my rings. The first ring goes in this little divot right here. It goes in and then the uh, the panel, then a ring, and then the speaker. That's the way I've been doing them. So uh, let me get this stripped. Alright, these are the two rings. You can see one of them's painted to kind of match that brown on the drawer trim, and this one I didn't need to paint because it's going to be behind there. They're both 3 8 in thickness, and they're both cut where they have four holes for these two inch screws to go all the way through and get to these these little uh, stanchions. Uh, so I'm using just regular old uh, wood screws that are two inches long and they're number tens. Is that right? Yeah, ten by two. 
So these are 10 size, and um, you'll need four of them for this, obviously. In one pack won't do you because they, they put seven in there. Can you believe that? Typical. All right, so I got this soldered, and I put... Uh, and I put some heat shrink on there so in case I get close to anything I didn't have any bare wire so this is gonna go in the door it can't go back too far because it'll hit the window but that's my Polk uh, speaker right there so I'm not gonna hook that up yet because it goes in after the door panel actually so now it's a door panel to go back on this one I need to line up right with these holes because you gotta shoot through and hit these holes with uh, your screws. My other one's stuck. There was like some sticky stuff right here left over on the passenger side that just held it for me. But this one's not cooperating while I'm trying to film. So what I may do is just wait till I get my door panel kind of up here before I put this last clip on. Look at that one. Didn't come out. These are pretty hard to get out if you don't get them out with the door. If you can get your finger on the inside, you can kind of relieve that the pressure on those little things that stick out. Like right there, I was able to get that top one out a little bit. And I got the side one, then I got it. So I'll put that one back in my door. Put it on the front. All right, so now, Put my wires back up, going back through the through the uh, opening for the door here. And I'm hooking my light back up here. And we had to take this off to get that old speaker out because it was inside the uh, got that hooked up. Now I'm going up high and hooking right here. And you see my window's open, I mean closed. So it actually just helps you get guide it right into the right spot. And then see all these are lining up. So I can start popping these down around the back. Let's see, there's one, two, three. One around. I'm gonna leave that front till the very end. Okay, now right here, what I'm gonna do, you see all this gap right here? That's what I'm gonna take advantage of, is this door panel actually has gap right here. So I'm gonna put this in and get it turned in there where I want it. All I gotta do is get it in the hole and line up one of them, the other ones will be lined up. And then pop, pop down those things to help hold it into place. I keep hitting my door seat here. It's probably a good idea to get this back out of the way for this camera. All right, so I can see it's lined up. So now what I do is I put the next ring. All This is where it gets a little tricky, um, and you need your screw gun. Let me go get that real quick. The lights are coming on on the garage and stuff. Hopefully it's not messing with this picture. I might want to go turn that off. Let me go turn that off. Okay. This is where it gets tricky because you're going to shoot these screws through through this ring into the other ring. And then the speaker goes on the outside of this. Now on this little thing, I'm looking for my best surface to be right here where most people see it and right here on top. So I'll just turn it around. Kind of keep looking at it. I like the surface. There's a little something I don't like. So what if I went this way? That looks pretty good. I went just like that. And it's not a perfect brown match, but it's close. So since the speaker's on the outside, what I'm going to do is start this screw right here and shoot it through on the one I can see right here. But I'm not going to go all the way tight with it because I'm going to hook my speaker in it. See, it 
see it's already hit that little that little stanchion thing. Now I'm gonna hook my speaker up back to that speaker wire. your uh, you actually don't want your window hitting this I'm actually gonna tuck it this way now that I think about it I want the wires to kind of go forward like that and set it right in this little bottom speaker I mean this bottom screw that I've already got see that got me set up so now all I gotta do is shoot through these holes and I didn't show you but there's four precision holes drilled in this that the grill, those studs that were on that grill are gonna poke into right there. So hopefully you're seeing this. And I can get the next screw going through to the hole that I need to hit. Right there. I'm kind of centering everything up as I, I look at this because these screws are on the outer extremes of this speaker metal. They're not, they're not dead center in it. I think I hit it. So the main thing is you're gonna not get these super tight yet because we're, we're gonna have to kind of make sure we hit those other stanchions. And you're going through the, the door panel right here at the beginning. And then you'll feel if you made it. Looks like it was a little up. And it tightened up, so I hit that one. But it was a little up. So we'll see. Let me angle this one up just a little. It hit in the hole. Yeah, and see how it gets really nice and firm. And I'll suck those up. And I mean, it's nice and tight on there. Let's slow this down just a little. Get it where I want it. That is nice and firm. So then the next thing is you take your grill and just make sure these aren't too buggered up because they're gonna go down in the hole. There's nothing kind of on them, these little studs. And then let's put them down in here. Watch, they go right in these holes that I already had in that in that stuff. And you see how they wedge in, kind of like home stereo speaker grills. They go into a little hole. You have like a dowel rod, that's how those work. And look at that, finished product. Hook these two back up, put these two screws back in. I'm gonna keep doing it, but it's getting dark. And uh, that's how you do it. That's how you put in the speaker. So before I put all these screws back in, I'm actually gonna fire up the stereo and we'll see if this works. You guys will be able to hear it. Let's see, sorry for the Maybe I can get on my little switch here. Let's see if we can just go to Bluetooth because my phone's in my pocket. The Black Keys. Y'all interested? Uh, let's go into the next song. This is Pumpkin Blood. I'm talking about. Now I'll do a review on this on the stereo itself. All right, so y'all saw it right there. That's how quick you can put that speaker in. If you got what you need, which is this trim ring, and I'll I'll try to maybe post up the dimensions or something on my at the bottom where I can have a link or something online to show y'all that. But that's pretty much it. And we're gonna pop this back on. Just start with the bottom and make sure that top gets in there. And see how that pops on so you're good there. 
Um, you got three screws right here. Make, go around the edge of your door and make sure all those little things are popped in. There's one right here is not. There it goes. I can kind of tell when they're not in. It's like a door panel doesn't lay straight. But that's it. And I'm just going to put these screws back in. They go in and get those, those standoffs that were in there. Hopefully the daylight stayed good enough that y'all could see this. But this is pretty simple. This goes, I want to make sure that wire is back. Far enough where it's not jamming me up on this. Put that in there. Put that back on. So that's on. And the last thing is this trim ring. It goes in here. And remember, it kind of catches in the front first. So make sure that front's in there and then take the back in. Like that. Whoops. Put this little screw in. Make sure you're not cross threading. There's that. And then last but not least, your uh, your door trap. I mean your your arm deal. And it just goes straight down. That. That's it, guys. So, hopefully, I can put this whole video together and you guys can kind of see the entire change out that I did on this um, stereo system. I'll get inside, I'll make a separate video on how to kind of set up that Pioneer. It really is nice. It Bluetooths to my phone anytime I get close to the vehicle, it just Bluetooths straight up. And it continues with the song I was playing as soon as the radio kind of recognizes the phone. So it's kind of nice. Phone calls are crystal clear. I talk to my, my family back in Texas all the time. I talk to my wife here at home from work or wherever I'm driving. Crystal clear. They have a hard time telling I'm in a car. And that's in this loud, you know, Land Cruiser with these big tires makes a little bit of noise. So lights all working. Door panel back on. If you get this ring right here, you can use these these uh, Polk audio speakers and that's about a two and a half inch deep speaker that just fit in a one and a half inch hole and it's because we added we used the the thickness of the door panel and two three eighths um, spacers this outside one kind of covered uh, colored and also routed it so that right as the speaker grill hits it's rounded and it kind of goes down so I enjoyed making this video it was a lot of videos a lot of separate little things and believe me this project it's it's the first part of March uh, 2014, and I started this project when I got speakers for my birthday in September last year. <laughs> so that's how long I worked on this project while I did a whole bunch of other stuff. But for now, that's it. This is Texas Know How and Clay. I'm signing off. We'll see y'all later.